Hey guys, it's Bella. Um, I finally got my stuff working, so that's great. I'm actually really happy about that. Anyway, so today I'm going to try something new, and if you guys don't like it, then I'll never do it again. But today I'm going to try a story time. So, back when I was younger, I was really weird, and I would get myself into trouble with really weird random things and, and in really weird random ways and one of the ways I actually wound up causing trouble for myself was I was really interested in supernatural things and just I don't know I liked tarot cards and things like that which is probably bad because technically I'm religious and it's against my religion to use tarot cards or scry or do any of those things but I was younger so I was kind of stupid about stuff so I went out and bought some tarot cards and uh, I learned how to do it and it wasn't very hard I learned how to do readings or whatever and um, it I know people probably a lot of people don't really believe in this stuff but um, when I was younger, I would always sense weird things, and it, I'm not necessarily saying that all this crap's real, but I do kind of believe in certain things, and growing up, I would know whenever someone was going to die, for the most part, but typically it was only people close to us, and uh, for example, when I was four, my great-grandma was really ill, and it was obvious that she was going to pass away, I mean clearly so that doesn't make me psychic or anything but um my birthday was coming up my fifth birthday was coming up and I had a dream that we walked into her house and uh she said happy birthday and she handed me a little gold necklace with a gold angel on it and in the middle it was holding a green birthstone of his peridot which is my birthstone and um in my actual dream she passed away and what had happened in the dream was I had walked into another room and I heard just a lot of commotion and talking and all this stuff and then they came in there and told my brother and my cousin and I that she had passed away. So, you know, the day before my birthday, we went over there and as soon as we walked in, I got a really weird feeling and I mean, I was really, really young and I kept telling my mom I wanted to go home and I honestly think, and my mom has said this too, I honestly think it's because I felt like if we weren't there then my dream wouldn't happen but I think that I really thought that it was about to so my grandma handed me a necklace and it was a gold angel with a green little stone and she told me happy birthday and she was extremely um and she was bedridden and just really 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 sick and my family members had to change and bathe her and stuff so we were asked to leave the room and as soon as we left the room i knew i knew my great grandma had died or she was about to and i heard my mom cry and then there was a bunch of noise and a few minutes later i was already crying i was really i was already really upset a few minutes later my mom came in and said bb passed away and that was my great grandma so i feel like especially when i was younger i did sense things but that's made me a believer in like r random weird things like i don't know tarot cards um so i got tarot cards going back to my previous story sorry guys you're getting two stories in one here um going back to that i bought tarot cards and at the time i was living in a little ghetto apartment with some roommates and the apartments I lived in, like, it was all people that, it was all people that couldn't really afford things or do anything or go anywhere or have any sort of entertainment. And people kind of knew me around there because I came friends with a lot of them. And it got, word got around that I did tarot readings. Well, there was a lady named Trisha, and she wanted me to read her so badly. So I agreed because I really didn't seem to see the harm in it. I would get things like, oh, this person's going to come into fortune, and so I didn't take it seriously, not to be rude, but some of these people didn't even have jobs, they lived off welfare, and it didn't seem like they were even trying to get jobs, it was just a really bad area, and some of the people were druggies, and, you know, things like that, so I never really took that stuff seriously, so I did a reading on Trisha, and something that kept coming up in the deck was the death card, and I didn't want her to know that, <laughs> so I didn't want her to know what it meant, at least. But the thing that was creeping me out was every time I went to put the card down, 
I knew what the card was. I, I shuffled a couple times. I I just was going through the reading because, like I said, I didn't really I didn't really believe in it. But that I could feel it. I could feel the card before I put it down, and it was creeping me out. And I just knew something was really badly wrong there. And I I put it down. I told her, oh, that probably just means the death of an old relationship, like your ex boyfriend. She had an ex who was just like awful. He had been in and out of jail. He was abusive and he was always trying to ruin her life, but she hadn't heard from him in a while. So I was like, oh, y'all's relationship is finally over. That's, that's totally what it means. Well, well, before she left, she announced that she was actually pregnant and I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I just got the worst feeling in the pit of my stomach. I mean, just horrible, horrible, dread. I just, I, I can't even explain it. I just remember tears forming in the corner of my eyes and I couldn't help it. And the hairs on my arms just stood up and I just knew that it was going to be her child. I knew she was going to miscarry. And how do you tell somebody that you can't just be like, oh, hey, your baby's going to die. No, I, I didn't even know what to do. So another lady that lived in our apartment complex, her name was Melissa. So I told her, and she told me, don't tell her, don't tell her. Well, I just felt like I needed to tell her. So I gave it a few days, which I probably shouldn't have done, but I needed to be able to get my thoughts together and try to figure out whether or not I was taking this entire thing seriously. And I, I called my mom and I told her and my mom was disappointed because my mom's Christian. And But she sat there and she had an actual conversation with me about it and said that I should tell her. But at the same time, that was overstepping boundaries because that was predicting the future and that was not my right or my place or anything like that. So I was kind of hesitant on doing it. But I went up to her apartment and she opened the door and she looked just awful. Now see, I had been gone for two days. I had been in my old town visiting people and she, she just looked like she was falling apart. And I said, Trisha, what's wrong? And she said, Melissa didn't tell you. And I said, no. And she said, yesterday I had a miscarriage and it broke my heart. I felt so horrible. And she said, you predicted death. And then she said that (laughs) she proceeded to say, that I was Satan and that I caused it. Then after that, she wound up telling everybody where I lived that I gave bad readings and my readings were what caused her to lose her child. And a lot of people were kind of scared of me after that. But that's not quite the end of the story, you see. I moved from that area eventually. I moved back to my old town. I got a better job, so I moved. And I moved back into my old town um, I moved back in with my parents for a while, and and whenever I left, I had thrown my tarot cards away in a dumpster at my old apartments. Well, the tarot cards came with a book explaining how to actually read them and read them properly and what certain things meant and all this stuff. As I was getting settled back into my mom's house, I came across that book again. And I kind of, you know, tossed it. And when I threw it, the death card came out of it and landed on my bed. I had made sure that I had thrown all of those cards away. I was creeped out by them. I didn't want them near me. I I just didn't want them anymore. And that creeped me out. So at this point, I felt like something was actually messing with me. So I took the tarot card and the book and I threw them out again. Well, I didn't throw the book out the first time, but the tarot card. I threw both of these things out this time. And I just was like, okay, whatever. So a few days after that, I went to get in my truck and I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but y'all probably do. Those little pockets that are on the inside of car doors. Um, well, the, I had really shallow ones in my truck and I opened the door and I went to get in and I noticed the card was standing straight up in that pocket and all I could see was the face of the reaper on the card. And I knew it was that damn card again. So I took it out and I went inside and I told my mom. I had avoided telling her because like I said, she's Christian and she was disappointed in me for having even tried that. Um, She always thought that I was very open to spiritual attacks and things 
like that and she always thought that I had some sort of like psychic ability but I think she would say something more of the, along the lines of it being like a prophet type thing rather than psychic but I think that's just due to her being a Christian. So what my mom wound up doing was trying to burn it in the fireplace. So my mom burned it in the fireplace and as crazy as it sounds, days later it showed up on our porch just right there as soon as you walked out walked right off the step it was right there so my mom freaked out she took it to one of our old churches and took it to the pastor and they prayed over it and i think they may have put holy water on it or something and then they together ripped it into pieces and burnt it and it has not come back since then and that was a few years ago. I was really starting to worry at that point that I had opened something up and I was like screwed like completely. So that that was pretty much all that happened. That's my story. That's kind of a really anticlimactic ending. It's kind of boring but um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If y'all didn't, I'm sorry. I won't do it again like I said. If y'all did, then I have a lot of stories like that and I actually have some funny stories and some other things like that. But uh, if you guys are interested, if y'all enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment. I'm sorry if you guys don't like the cuts I have in my audio. Um, I have a tendency to stutter over my words because I guess this makes me nervous. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's like if I don't actually have to feel pressure, then I feel pressure and I kind of make an ass of myself. Um, like I said, I might have an uncensored Saturday or something one day, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think you guys will just be like, oh my gosh, you sound like an idiot if I do that. So I'm not completely sure if I'm going to do that. But um, yeah, if y'all y'all yeah, if y'all hear cuts or anything like that, it's also because I'll pause for a while trying to not make an ass of myself and like regain my composure because sometimes I'll laugh and uh, so I'll cut that stuff out and so we'll sometimes make the video or the audio sound a little bit choppy. But I prefer it that way or else y'all would hear just, <laughs> y'all would hear me get annoyed or whatever else. So anyway, I love you guys. I hope y'all are all having a great day, night, whatever time I upload this. It's supposed to be evening, afternoon-ish. Anyway, hope you guys are all doing great. Love you guys. Bye.